Okay, this is my UTG messenger bag. It's not a bad bag for the money. It's it's not up to the same standard as a VanQuest or a Maxpedition, you know, jumbo style bag, but it's a good little bag. The main problem, uh, or one of the main problems, is the metal zipper pulls. Okay, walking around with these things makes all kinds of noise, rattles. It's pretty annoying. So after a couple months of doing that. Uh, I'm cutting them off of there. Gonna ditch all of these and uh, put on paracord zipper pulls. Probably should have done it a long time ago. Um, just gonna go with some Coyote Brown paracord, fix it up. I'll throw some pictures in when it's all done. I'm gonna cut all of them off every zipper. It's getting the axe. Um, and just generally, you shouldn't be uh, afraid to cut into a bag and modify it for your own personal needs or any piece of gear really because a lot of times it's just not gonna not gonna be exactly what you want a couple minutes a little bit of paracord this thing will be back in business also uh, taking this shoulder strap pad off I do that on all the bags that I have like this I find that useless and Back here, I already cut off. There's this little loop here, Velcro loop that's sewn on like this. It's meant to uh, go around your belt, keep the bag stable. But the big benefit of a bag like this is the fact that you can uh, swing it around front and get at stuff that you need while on the move. And if you strap that thing to your belt, it uh, kind of prevents that. Okay, I mean it's, I think the design intent there was to keep it stable if you're using it for concealed carry to draw the pistol out, but I, it's, it's really more trouble than it's worth. So don't be afraid to cut stuff off your bag, okay, and, uh, or anything else for that matter. Just get rid of it if it's not working for you, okay. It's only, uh, it's only thread, or metal zipper pulls in this case. Alright, thanks a lot. I'm going to throw some pictures of the finished product in at the end. Modify your stuff, people. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, here's a quick look at the uh, finished product. Okay, switched everything out with the uh, Coyote 550. Everything still works great, you know. But silent now, no more jiggling around. While I was at it, I also uh, replaced the cheap cordage that was holding this together to secure the uh, storm flap. Again, just put 550 on there. And I did the water bottle. Replaced this as well with 550. This I couldn't do. I would have done, but uh, it's sewn into the seam. So I have to think about that for a while. I, I, I don't know that I want to mess with taking the seam apart and re-sewing it. I have uh, Pretty good sewing skills, but I don't I don't know if I want to do that. So um, for the time being, we're going to leave that. And uh, this is this is the uh, the crappy stuff that was on there. Okay, it's it's not paracord. It's I don't even know what that's made out of. It feels like it's made out of cotton. Really, it's kind of weird. All right, so. Tuned up the bag a little bit. I'm gonna keep carrying it. I promised myself I'd carry it for six months before going back to my uh, my jumbo. So it's been holding up fine. And uh, at least now I'll be able to sneak up on snacks without the snacks hearing me. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. You all have a nice day.